Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 18th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can serve JSON to the client. Okay then Doug, so in the last tutorial we sent some HTML to the browser, to the client. And we did that via a read stream and then piping it to the response. Now in this tutorial I want to send back some JSON instead and I'm not going to use streams in this tutorial. So I've taken those out, I've deleted them. I'm just going to send it to the response object directly by using the end method, which we've seen before a few tutorials back. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we need to do is change this content type to application forward slash JSON, because that's what we're sending to the browser. So let's go ahead and create an object that we want to send back as JSON. So we'll say var, I'm going to call this my object or my obj, and I'm going to set that equal to an object. Then let's add a few properties in here. First of all, a name, which is going to be a Ryu. Then a job, and he is obviously going to be a ninja. And then finally, the age, and we'll say 29. Okay, so there's our object. And we want to send this back as JSON to the client. So we'd say response object dot end. We've seen this a few tutorials back. This is how we can send data back to the client. And then we pop the data in here. Now, we can't just write my obj, even if we spell it right. We can't just write that because this method right here, dot end, expects here either a string or a buffer. And this is none of those. This is an object. So what we need to do is serialize this. We need to create it into a string. And that string has to be in JSON format. And we can do that by saying JSON dot stringify. Pass that into there, and that's gonna convert this into a string, and it's gonna be in JSON format. So if we go ahead and save that and run it now, node app, then if we open up a browser, refresh, let's just go to port 3000, we're gonna see all of that data return to us as JSON, a JSON string. And if you right click and go to inspect, to open up the developer tools, then go to the network tab, You'll need to refresh to see this request down here. Click on that and you can see the response right here is the JSON. The headers, the states code is 200 and the content type is application forward slash JSON. So it knows what it's getting and it gives it us. So how, why would we want to return some JSON to someone? Why would someone request this in a browser? Well, just imagine that we had some JavaScript running on the front end of our application in the browser. Now that JavaScript might make this request. Not up here, but it might make this request. And then this is essentially gonna be an API endpoint that's gonna return some JSON. So imagine the request was to something like forward slash API forward slash ninjas. Then if we sent a request to this, it's gonna send us back this data. And we've not done routing or anything that in this tutorial series yet, so don't worry about routes. But just imagine that this URL here returned the JSON, like we're doing here. Then we can return that to the front end JavaScript in the browser. So then it can do something with that JSON. It could output that JSON to the screen in a particular area in the HTML and basically update the view for the user. So that's why we do it typically. Okay, and this is how we do it. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, like all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.